it was a lot, and we had to do a lot of takes of these sequences, and, and so much of the movie is in tiny little bits, but there was 10 minutes on the front end and six minutes in the back of most of what you see. It gets very organic very fast, and I was telling the actors, I go, guys, as soon as you get in there, they're gonna be cheering, but as soon as you start doing moves, they're really gonna be reacting. The true story behind this incredible story of this family was a tragic one. The Von Erich family and brothers wanted to stand out. Today, we wanted to share the backstory and behind the scenes of the recreation of this story told from Hollywood. At first glance, every individual piece just felt ridiculous. Like, the wigs did not look right at the beginning. Um, but as we got closer to filming and kind of tinkered with them and applied, you know, different cuts, bruises, makeup, and paired that with the wardrobe, it started to make me feel like I was from Texas. I think it helped. From the brotherly cast creating a bond on and off the screen to the costume designers staying true to the outfits that were worn in this era and by the family. First, he kind of taught us about wrestling and the lingo of it and the dance of it all. And it's largely improvisational, and sometimes it's called rehearsed or pre-planned. After learning about it and learning the lingo and how to take bumps or hits, falls onto the mat, punches, things like that, then we started to just practice. But before we get into more of these moments, today's trivia question. What teenage film trilogy was Zac Efron most known for being a part of? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around till the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. <laughs> When you have to learn a lot at once, I think it's, it, it doesn't work unless you trust each other. Also, the brothers in real life, they like train together like rigorously, right? Durkin had a long-term aspiration to create a film based on the Von Erich family. He was a fan of professional wrestling during his youth and he was personally saddened by the string of Von Erich family deaths. I was so lucky on this film to have Jeremy Allen White and Zac Efron and Harris Dickinson and Stanley Simmons. They all brought it every single day. They wanted to learn. So every time we were in the ring, they, they were st studying and they were just students of the game and they really wanted to give honor to the characters that they were playing. It was a choice by Dunkirk that the youngest son's death was not included in the story as according to him, it was one more tragedy that the film couldn't really withstand. You're supposed to make contact right around the like chest, neck yeah, almost, yeah. but then like pull it at the last. She doesn't want to do it. Yeah, let's just hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, we would just go yeah. like. Bah, bah, yeah, then, that's it. Yeah, that's still really good. Of course, without the contact, there is contact. Make like a slap, sure. but it's not like a. Yeah. Doesn't hurt at all, right? Not you, supposed to. I mean, yeah. maybe. <laughs> <I> <laughs> yeah. The pro wrestling family was plagued with a series of tragedies that became known as the Von Eric curse. David died suddenly in 1984 at age 25, and both Mike and Carrie died in 1987 and 93, respectively. These deaths are seen through the eyes of Kevin, the sole surviving Von Eric brother in Iron Claw. And we were able to get one of the original WCCW referees, James Beard, to be a referee in the film. And from his mouth, he goes, Chavo, he goes, I remember this. The Sportatorium looks the same. These wrestles look the same. The Von Erichs are doing the same. He goes, he was getting chills just watching it. Interestingly enough, the director said himself that the choices he made for the cast was due to the fact that they were the right actors, not for their physique. The wardrobe and the hair and stuff, at least in my case, did a lot of the work for me and just like finding the comfort in that in that space. And there's like a partnership, you know, we're, we're wearing these very skimpy kind of clothes all the time, but at least Harris, Zach and I are, um, we're in it together. There's a, there's a brotherhood in our skimpy clothes. Of course, that didn't stop the cast, however, attempting to get in better shape for a movie about wrestling. I was eating a lot, like a, a pretty tremendous amount, just eating as much as I could and just trying to like lift weights, no cardio, which like I like to run, like Jeremy likes to run and likes to do jump rope and I was just trying to like lift heavy things and eat as much as I could pretty much, yeah. Surprisingly too, Zac Efron came out and revealed that the transformation into becoming Kevin Von Erich sort of took over his life. I think I had like six, seven months to prep for the movie and I allowed it to take over my life. That became my primary goal. It was just kind of centered around achieving that aesthetic and um, uh, yeah so it was fun to, it was fun, fun to, to put everything else to the side but real quick make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description there's a ton of interview moments and memes so make sure you check it out and give us a follow Silas is he's like you said he's like six five six yeah. six massive and 
he was like, we got this. I was like, really? Sure, I don't think I can throw you. He goes, you just run up the ropes and then just hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, taking you on a ride. Yeah, he's yeah. like, I'm just gonna take you for a ride. I was yeah. like, all right, sweet. <laughs> of course, it wasn't only Zac Efron that took the training seriously. There was no convincing necessary. I think Sean was like, do you want to do this thing? And I said, absolutely. So I did everything I could. I mean, I ate a lot more, lifted a lot. The intensity that the character of Kerry needed, the journey that he goes on, both like his intensity as an athlete, struggles with depression and having that charisma. And I think Jeremy has all those things and those abilities. Chris was in the script for five years, Durkin said. When we're trying to get a film made, you have to separate it at some point and say, there are characters on a page and this is a film. There's no way you're going to fully capture the life of a person in a film. In the script for seven years, I had seen Holt McCallany in Mindhunter. I think the first episode I watched that, I was like, oh wow, he's He's it. Fritz von Erich, he had his admirers, and there are a lot of people out there that were not fans. We have gotten to see what it was like in the early stages of the wardrobe fittings for the cast. Putting the boots on that were made for David and the wig, and Jen has done a beautiful job at bringing these characters to life, and Natalie, our hair designer, and our, our makeup design, they all collectively have just fleshed up. The director and cast who plays the brothers on screen go over some of the scenes with them, like when Fritz tries to talk some sense into the boys and getting them into the ring. The hottest day, the height of, you know, a Texas summer, guys working in the fields, but it was freezing cold. It was like 37 degrees and really windy. And these four guys had to like have their shirts off for hours out there. We were just doing press ups the whole yeah. time. We were just yeah. like, the Every whole, time I looked over at Jeremy, I was just like <laughs> trying to keep yeah, yeah, warm. Yeah. Using the actual song that the original brothers walked out to when they first entered the ring, they continued to look over this scene. That was the actual song that they, they came out, out to. Yeah. And it rocks. <laughs> So we're using Sweet. this, yeah, so we're using this sort of slow push in here for this moment of this music arriving. The film, having been out since early January of this year, has already been praised by many. In 2023, Marshall Vaughn Eric, Kevin's son, praised Guerrero's role as a wrestling consultant, highlighting the accuracy of the film's wrestling sequences and complimenting Efron's performance. This is Ric Flair's robe. The most outrageous robes that there is for a wrestler, a wrestler wearing, you know, good and plenty pink with feathers and bedazzled and completely sequenced and rhinestoned and his nickname is Nature Boy was the most amazing thing to pick. Aside from Zac Efron, Jeremy Allen White talks about Kevin Von Erich's one rule for the Iron Claw, which was a move that was invented by them involving putting your hand over the opponent's face or chest and squeezing. Finally, when we were in prep, got together and did like a sort of wrestling boot camp where we had all the guys together for a couple weeks, um, ran through the matches, the choreography. We found these great uh, local wrestlers out of New Orleans who, were, who played the other roles. They came up and we just had this two week wrestling camp. And of course they did involve some of the real family members like Kevin Von Eric, who was contacted in the middle of making the film. You got Zac Efron playing you, how does that make you feel? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's something else. I met him last night. We had dinner. And he's you just a, met him last night for the first time? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Th these guys are devoted professionals, you know. They li looked into this, and, uh, and they were all about me. I mean, everything about me. That's what they do. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, of course, Zac Efron was a part of the Disney Channel trilogy, High School Musical, which some could say kick-started his acting career. What Matthias, our DP, wanted to see was a long match. We had you know, 10, 12 minute matches over and over and over and over again. We probably did it, you know, 15 times. So, I mean, it's taxing on you for sure, but they wanted to capture the feeling of what, a, what an actual 10, 15 minute match feels like. But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What do you think about all these moments and what do you think was the most challenging part in putting a story like this on the big screen? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. And I like froze in midair. I remember I hit Chavo super hard and I look up kind of in a daze and I see this guy who is an extra. He stands up and goes, Oh, now you're flying, boy! <laughs> and I was like, all right, the crowd like erupted. Those guys, that it energy was, they kept up was I it. actually amazing. <laughs> <laughs>